Are, are we good? Oh, we are live. All right, cool. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are live. One fifty-two in the building. Yes, hey. yes, yes. We got to find something in between these gaps that, you know, I mean, from the time we start the stream to the time we go to the intro to the time that we actually oh, a cold, start. A, a cold open? Yes, yes. We have to find a new one. Yeah. We used to just yeah. talk. <laughs> it just feels awkward <laughs> if we just come in and start talking. <laughs> like yeah, we're known for talk. the, you know, boom, 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 pew, pew. Oh, that's just did. Hey, look, man, Steamyard. Uh, I don't want to talk about our new, uh, our new platform, but um, they straight they have, they have taken away our intro music. They have taken they away our signature um, intro. You know what I mean? How like, we, how we used to like. Bring in like an episode with the music to set the mood. It's gone, but it's all they hate, good. It's they fine. Hate, they hate us, man. It's all good. They, it's all they good. hate us because they ain't us, bro. Come on, come on. And you know what? On that note, that's how you start the intro. <laughs> oh. oh, hey! Oh, I'm finally seeing it <laughs> in real time. Oh shit! Shout out to Chaz, man. Top tier. Top tier. Top tier. Woo! Oh, that that was your first time that seeing first it. That was first time, yeah. Ah! That was yes, first time. sir. Yes, sir. How does that feel, bro? Um, It's surreal. It's, it's you know, it's, I don't, y'all know, I, I got a lot of words. I'm lost with words because, I, I mean, you know, finally doing it. Because the most times when I do shit like that or do I do it for myself, you know what I mean? I, I it, believe it or not, I rarely have um commissioned pieces of pieces that pe- pieces that are asked for my work, not because I'm not good, just because I you know I've been a lone wolf for so long. So I really had to get out of the mud for myself. So to actually mm. have it done, have it live, have it for the pod, have it for my niggas. Come on. I have I don't have a lot of words, but just um very thankful. So I'm a hundred percent positive that Nolo froze. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me oh, let me remove that one and add. I'm this like, what's so interesting? Oh, we, we back. Okay, bad, bad, bad. yo. So I don't know what happened, but I just know my joke went away. Yo, you. It was like you were looking at the TV, but like you did stop smiling. Like at all? Like <laughs> I thought you maybe had a stro- a mild stroke or something. What the fuck? Going oh, on, man. Going on. Hey, you already, you already okay? know that's how I'm gonna go, bro. I'm gonna go with my Hey, but no, lo, do what you gotta do, my friend. And welcome everyone to the 152 volume of the Black Guy Wrestling Podcast. Hey, 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 hey we are hey, here. Hey, we hey. are here. We are here. Let's not waste no time. Coming in first, it is Scotland Underwood. Coming in second, it is Solo Nolo Green. Coming in third is Chaz Ob. Word to the to the top tier, the one and only D Mac Tardy. Miggity Miggity Mac. I do need God. to bring I do need to bring something up to you, Nolo. What's that? You want to know how I know you really don't care about the BGW title? What is that? Because a true champion mm-hmm. would, when he gets introduced, he would introduce himself as said champion. Mm. And I can tell for you. You don't even really care about it because I feel like you would have done it. Excuse me, brother. I was trying 
to be humble and just enjoy the time mm-hmm. with my brothers. When we were going to bring up the Royal Rumble, I figured we were going to talk about other things first. But when it was time <laughs> to bring up the Royal Rumble, where I will be defending mm. my BGW title again mm-hmm. and retaining it again, I thought that would be the most perfect time to bring it up. But, hey, if you want me to talk my shit right now, I can I'm, gi- I'm giving you the opportunity. I'm giving you the platform to speak your mind, you know what I mean, as the last time that you will hold the BGW title. So please go ahead. Not the last time. Uh, but it's all good. I just want to just play this plain and simple. It's going to be a beautiful thing to beat y'all niggas again. Um, it's going to be great. I look forward to it when you have to crown me that champion. And you, I get to hear that beautiful intro from you one more time. As still the BGW predictions champion, Solo, Nolo, Green. Thank you. I don't know who's worse, man. I don't think I'm that bad. I was I don't, chilling. I don't, I don't, you, you know what? <laughs> you were. You were. I was you chilling. Were cool. were I was bring, I was merely Scotland, just bringing up. Scotland brought it up. I, I was, was merely bringing up the fact that if you have an accolade, why not? Show it to the world, but if you don't care, then you don't care. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. It's all good. You can, <laughs> you can find us on Apple Podcasts. <laughs> Boom. Oh, Google man. Podcasts. Boom. Spot of damn. I don't even know the intro. I'm not even gonna do it. I can't do it right now. Hey dog, I, I thought, I thought that shit was dead. I thought yeah, it was dead. I, thought, oh, oh, I, was I gonna tried. back you up. Yeah, I won't even with you. That's why I, I was even, like, oh, I can't yeah. even do it. I can't even do it. I'm it's just going to do it the proper way. Find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, Pandora, whatever, 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 whatever. All that good shit. All that good shit. All that good shit. All DSPs. We were Pod Dealers Network, though. What's good? That's us. Pop, pop. Hey, of course. <laughs> Boom. But, gentlemen, let's not waste no time. First of all, how are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Yeah, you. Well. It's a. It's another beautiful. I'm. I'm alive. I'm standing up straight. I was gonna say you was. Uh, you was roughing it this weekend. Were you sick? I, I wasn't <laughs> sick. Because <laughs> your I text was. message, I wasn't. I wasn't too sure. I was like maybe you and Nick had an inside joke. Because you was like, I'm alive. So I was like, all right. Well, I'll wait till he say something. Because I. I didn't want to give condolences and want nothing wrong with y'all. Oh no, nah, man. I just had. Just a little too many edibles, man. A little too much fun. That's all. Oh, I've been there. Took me out the paint. Took me out the paint for about a day. Say less, brother. I, yo, you alive. That's all I care about. <laughs> that's them really all that matters. That's all that motherfucking matters. Because them shits make you feel like you about to go to the upper room. The upper room. But Always hey, remember, three's too much. Just do two. Have you ever Chase. done? I'm, have I'm you ever done one. four? Have you ever done four? Not of edibles. Edibles? Man. Yeah. Nah. Mm. You've done nah. four. I have. I On have. one day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you the real deal. Like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you the real deal. You the real deal now. <laughs> Look, I was trying to fucking deal. I was trying to go to the constellations. Shit. You know what I mean? But you was trying to have a conversation with God right on the throne. <laughs> 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 but Shit. fella. Fellas, let's not waste no time. We got a lot to talk about. So, obviously, we were about to do a show on Sunday. <clears> and <throat> I feel like sometimes the universe blesses us because had we had done the show on Sunday, Sunday. the main the main topic point would have been Seth Torres ACL, you know, Okada, Okada Samoa Joe, things that we're going to talk about. But, man, did some news drop today, right? And starting out, The Rock. Dwayne Johnson has now been appointed to the TKO Group Board of Directors. Now, what does that mean? That means The Rock is literally at the head of the team. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so literally. the story complete for him. He's the, good. He's good. He's good. He good. So, <laughs> the Rock so, when is, he fa- so when he faces Roman, uh-huh. if Roman wins, he gets the, the director spot. That's, his now. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fair. That's the next progression. Okay. So the, the thing that's very interesting to this, so I'll, I'll read the uh, the ASPN article. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, actor, former WWE star, uh, was appointed Tuesday to the board of directors of TKO Group, the publicly traded company consisting of UFC and WWE. 
In addition to his appointment, Johnson has been granted full ownership of the Rock Treadmark, which has been owned by WWE. And Johnson has signed a new services and merchandise agreement with WWE that provides for his promotional licensing and other services. Number one, that's major. Yes, that that is sure. major. That is major. <laughs> for I sure. know. I don't know if you guys saw the picture of The Rock at the um, at Wall Street. You know, ringing the bell. Ringing the bell. Triple H looked disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> Triple H said, I've been grinding for years. Triple I'm H- married into the family and now look and at I you. still can't get on the board. <laughs> what more do you want from me? <laughs> it is sick, man. <laughs> but obviously, though, this is a, a major deal. The Rock has made a lot of business moves. Um, if I'm not mistaken, and, um, him and uh, Danny Garcia, they own uh, XFL. XFL that recently just merged with the USFL. So they're getting out for their um spring. Yeah. So they can be so they can be two terrible football yeah, yeah, franchises pretty together. Pretty pretty much. I don't I don't see you know what we're not gonna do that. This let's let's celebrate first. Go we're ahead. not talking about that. My bad. You're right, you're right, you're right. But you're not, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is it that bad? I mean the rating show. No, but look. Look at where AEW's at right now. That doesn't mean anything. AEW's ratings are better. Damn. That's the everybody thing, right? AEW has gotten much better. You a football team. You supposed to you, – everybody love football. You everybody love football. Watch and so the thing it, was – the thing is, the ratings – it's a tough shot, but the ratings when XFL first came out were a little bit better than now. I figured football fans would love this. You know what I mean? Consistent football all the way until what? No, damn. Nah, we, damn. we want good football. Oh, man. Yeah. We, uh, you know, a football solid, we care solid. about. Right. Solid football. Like, I, I'd rather go watch Canadian than, you know what I mean? I'm sorry. Hey, man, you know, the only football I really care about is European style. The, so The, the pitch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> the pitch. But um, it you know, but going back to the rock, obviously, business wise, this is an incredible move because I think from a from a generational standpoint, like obviously, we all know the rock's lineage X Y Z, but the fact that he's on the board, therefore he has say in the way that both that TKO is essentially going to be running. That's a major move, right? I now. Agree. The question, I, yeah. the question now is, where does this partnership take going forward? Because obviously, you know, I mean, the rumors hot. Rock and Roman possibly at Philadelphia, right? Cody and Logan Paul is looking even more and more like a reality every single day. <laughs> every single day. You right? said Cody and Logan Paul? Yes, sir. Huh? That's the only story he's gonna be finishing. Yeah. He's, oh, he's, oh he's, I see. Okay, I'm seeing. I yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nah, that was Ch- pretty Chaz, good. Chaz was sitting there. He was like, "Wait a second. I was like, "Wait, <laughs> what did they have?" Oh, oh. He I was. See. <laughs> he was like, "Oh, this would be a good match." I was like, this "Wait, did, did I miss something?" <laughs> <laughs> um, let's start with Nolo. Nolo, where do you think? How do you think? First of all, this is going to lead because I feel like the potential for like a major. A major, a major show outside of WrestleMania is now in the works because now The Rock could really invest like seven bucks, seven bucks promotion into this, and it could be like a co-promotion between mm-hmm. TKO and seven, uh, seven bucks. So, where ultimately do you see? Do you see now like this is a concrete, definite that The Rock will be at Mania? I feel like it's as close as we gonna get to one without them saying it. Ah. Uh, yeah, so I also feel like, like the second, like another event that you're talking about, I feel like the chances of them having like their super weekend is like even more happening. Like when they're gonna have mm. a UFC uh, pay per view with the uh, wrestling pay per view, then The Rock might even drop a movie that weekend. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, man. Everybody getting money together. Oh, we, we going in. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like I can see it. I see it happening. 
So hold up. So a a rock movie on Friday, Friday. Yes. a UFC joint on Saturday, Saturday, and WWE on. Woo. Mm. Damn. Yeah, hey, man. They trying to take over. I can see it. There is a white man right now jumping up and down <laughs> at the at the premise of the, at the premise of this. And his no, name is that. Triple H because he is upset. Damn, damn. I mean, but here's the thing, right? When it comes to The Rock, and I don't know if y'all saw the clip of him, like he was doing the media rounds today, and he stopped by first take or whatever, and he brought up the potential of wrestling Roman Reigns, right? But to <clears> me, <throat> the way I took it is that. They're setting up something more major for for Roman Reigns and Rock. And I feel that because the way he was talking, he was pretty much alluding like it's going to be the biggest wrestling match of all time. Right. Which makes me think going back to the original idea of like a show that is literally centered around them. Right. And from a historical standpoint, they really could just do a match or a show that's centered around the Rock and Roman Reigns, like a big stadium show. I've seen people say that, you know, maybe a show done in Miami, right? Hawaii. Somebody, mm, Hawaii. I saw somebody, they were like, the Rock is probably going to try to get it done in a jungle. <laughs> Jumanji 3? <laughs> Yo, if they do Jumanji 3 with it, hey. That'll probably be a dope like theme though. They'll actually have like the th- they'll ma- actually bring back like uh what's that like custom sets? Oh, not the rumble in the jungle. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> look, I man, mean, as long as it ain't Black Adam or Fast and Furious, you can do what you want. What was wrong with Fast and the Furious? Nick. I'm oh. so tired. Oh I'm man, this man, up. this man used your actual name. Because yeah. <laughs> that's that's just where I'm at, man. Please, Bro, I got let us go, this. man. Let I have a question. Go. All right, since we all fast and the furious, how many of these movies have y'all seen? Yeah, honestly, bro, I stopped. Oh, you stopped. I okay. stopped after um, rest in peace to Paul Walker passed away. So I forgot the number. Of okay, so seven, 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 yeah, yeah. Se- seven is the last one. Seven's the last one he's in. So okay, which one had Bow Wow in it? Jesus. That's uh, <laughs> that's Tokyo Drift. Tokyo the third Drift. One. Which number the is that? The third. Ah, you stopped watching before they got good again. Okay. Um, so, uh, so I'm gonna say I I'm not like a big fan of Fast and the Furious. I will watch the movies. I haven't watched the newest one yet, just because I have no rush. I don't. You watch the side the ones too, like uh Hobbs. I haven't. Not Hobbs and Saw. No, I haven't watched that. Now that was good. I know that that really? was that was really the, good. The one with Rock and Cesaro. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 He. I'm sure he was uh, doing the UFO to niggas all day. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So. Um, yeah. No. So, <clears throat> do you think they could wait with Roman and and Rock? Like, does it have to be in Philly? No. no I mean, no. I, again, like I like we were talking the last time. <laughs> you have these. It's the first time I I can see in my lifetime where, especially with social media, where you have, um, well, social media where is that today? Because you know you had Rock and Cena, uh, which was big and it did numbers, but it feels like with it being a family lines and history and you know kind of like Roman Reigns kind of is that 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 superstar that guy, um, which Rock was, and if you think about it in terms of just like the lineage. <clears throat> We could start with like Yokozuna, you know, he was one of the first big, not one of the first, but around that time, a really big in the Hawaiian lineage. And then he kind of passed away. It wasn't necessarily kind of passed the torch. He, unfortunately, was Tommy Death. Then Rock came around, started doing this thing, and then Rock went to the movies. But Rock never necessarily passed the torch or said like, yo, this your time. Or like, I think what you said, no, it was never been a moment when it's been an actual acknowledgement outside of when he held old Roman in the, in the rumble, but Roman wasn't Roman now. You know what I mean? Like th- that was big dog Roman. This is tribal chief Roman. You know what I mean? So I think it doesn't necessarily have to be this year. Like, you know, Co- if Cody wants to do a story, if Punk want to do it, the case may be, it doesn't have to be because you ha- you are talking about now with this TKO merger, 
like you said, Nick, something that's just going to be beyond what wrestling could be. So if you do it now, you do it next year. Well, I ain't going to say like three years out because eventually you got you to strike while the iron's hot. I don't necessarily think it has to be this year. Oh, you think that you think they about to hold this? No, well, no, no. I'm not saying they are. What I'm saying is that I don't necessarily think it has to be. Now, I'm, I'm probably wrong. They're probably going to strike what, again, strike what iron's hot. But even if they decide to do it, so so where's the next one going to be at? Well, the next um, one. WrestleMania. They don't know yet. They don't know. Okay. Yeah, they so even if they decide to do it, you know what I mean, next year or whatever the case may be, I don't I don't think no matter when you do it, it's just, it's going to do numbers no matter when you do it. That's just my Let's go East Coast. But yeah. you see this, but you see this is where the argument comes in like does the match need to take place at WrestleMania and this is where I argue that it doesn't need to be at WrestleMania because right. if it's already being promoted as like the biggest wrestling match of all time. Right. That doesn't necessarily make it. That makes the match, the, the, the tagline that makes the match, the, the focal point, right? Obviously dignitaries are going to be at Philly. They're going to be at WrestleMania, you know what I mean? Media X, Y, Z. Right. But the way that WWE is moving, any show that they do on the big, like the big stage, like, the match could take place at SummerSlam, and it can still be the biggest match of all time. Let me oh, ask like you this, said um, to me, oh, Cleveland? Oh. In Cleveland? Ah. In Cleveland? <laughs> we don't know what Cleveland's like in the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not even a. Hey, that's not a shot to Cleveland. That no, was, that, was me. that was a call. Back. That was a callback because he hit me with that shit before. That's all. I have no problem with Cleveland. Columbus is a beautiful city. Now, does it have to be the big four? Would you need to have it at nigga, one of nobody the trying four? to see that at a great balls of fire? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to just say it doesn't have to be mania, so that's what I'm asking. Like, does it. it have does it have to be does it need to be at the big four? Survivor series, don't bring it back to problems. Stop, stop. Yo, man, why stop. why 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 are we hating? You know, I'm sorry. Why no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's on me. You love no, it. don't apologize to him. <laughs> Y'all out here hating him. Why don't you want to see a black man happy? Huh? Brother, I love seeing you happy out here, but also need you to understand that if you're going to do the biggest match of all time, you're not doing that in no damn Survivor Series. Money in the Bank would be better than Survivor Series. Nah. A winning, a winning pay-per-view. Stop it. Hey, hey. <laughs> Survivor Series this year was dope. It was. Mm. It was. Had that man Chaz out here sounding like a hypocrite five minutes <laughs> after. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I, don't even, I don't even care if see your punk come, man. I don't know for real. I don't even... Three minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> man, ju- he the first one to jump out his seat. <laughs> that was classic. No. That was classic. <laughs> yeah, but that's one Survivor Series up against what? They're, like the the last twenty that they've the done. The last the last one was dope too. Yeah, come on, dog. Don't hate. Don't uh, okay. hate. Don't hate. Um, don't hate. Don't hate now. Don't. Hate. We'll get we'll get on the big fours <laughs> a little later. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> but ultimately, what I'm saying is like they could like I did see somebody and I thought she thought it was a good idea of them doing Rock and Roman on the first Raw of the Netflix era. And do wow. it like and do that raw as a stadium show. Wow, I, that's they, actually not bad. So think not about bad. it, right? Yeah. Think about it. We're entering a new. This is the first time Monday Night Raw will not be on linear television, right? That's a major deal, right? And we're transitioning into an era of streaming. So, them price is going to be sky high. The Netflix price is about to be sky high. Ridiculous, right? So oh, why price. not why not build up to the very first raw of the Netflix era and have this major match? Now, personally, I wouldn't do that, but I was gonna say you think it, like Nola said, you think they're gonna hold to 2025? They can. The rock, I mean, look, Roman wrestles what four times a year, right. Give because so put it like this, put it like this. If you do this match in Philly, right? Obviously, Roman's going over, correct? Yeah. Yes. So then, Wait. so yeah, then that yeah. means that means 
we need to get to because Roman's probably not going to drop the title anytime soon after that, right? And then you get to SummerSlam, right? But when you get to SummerSlam, you're only a month away from him breaking Hogan's record. Oh, so I did the math wrong. So he's not going to, so it's not going to happen till next summer. No, I'm talking about this summer. I'm um, trying to think. This summer. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about this summer. I mean, next summer is this summer, so go for it. Yeah, that is true. So I thought it would be March. Okay, I was I was way off. Okay, well, not that much, but okay. Yeah. I'm a, nah. Oh, no, no, what's up, yeah? I was going to say, you don't think uh, the way Nick Aldis be acting, he might have that man wrestle twice. Nick Aldis is about two weeks away from an ass whooping. It's, 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 it's definitely it's coming. coming. It's definitely yeah. coming. And you know what? You know what? I felt, uh, yes, Arts, we are happy. And yes, we are very happy. Yes, we are. It, yes, it gave, absolutely. It, it gave us talking points. We absolutely. did. It gave us talking points. It's nice when things work out. It's nice um, when things work out. No, I, got, I felt insulted a couple weeks ago because I brought up that Nick Aldis has an ass whooping coming. Mm-hmm. Right? He mm-hmm. did. I've been watching this shit. I've been watching this for a long time. You have. And everybody was in the joint talking about, oh, did you know Nick Aldis was a former NWA champion? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, excuse me? I'm like, were you in the gym when he was (sighs) Brutus Magnus in TNA? British Invasion? Were you there with that? Nah, son. Nah, well, there. I bet half the people that said that didn't even know that Scrap Daddy, uh, Adam Pierce, got busy. A lot of people I definitely know. did it, and I kept seeing like he used to scrap, so I had to do my research. And I look at Adam Pierce now; I would never thought he was in the ring like getting down. Mm. He man, was actually look crazy. On, he yeah. talked crazy on the mic too. Oh man, I I can see that. Yeah, yeah, top tier. But uh, so I'm gonna give y'all the booking hat. You're Triple H, right? Where do you book? Concrete, where do you book Roman Reigns Rock? At Philly. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I feel know. like this is a lot of why, why would I pick anything else? <laughs> now, are you saying that selfishly because you were that, that, Yeah, I feel like it's a lot of selfish in that. Both. Okay. All right. Let's be honest. Both. I can't. Hey, this is honest biases. Biases. I want that. Yes, I want that. I want to be there. I want to see it. So, why not? Also, it makes a lot of sense. It's the 40th <laughs> WrestleMania, the granddaddy of them all. I feel you. I'm. I'm with you. Right. Mm-hmm. Am I going to be upset at seeing The Rock and Roman Reigns in Philly? Absolutely not. Probably wouldn't even sit down for the match if I'm being honest. Mm-hmm. But. I still like my idea that The Rock accompanies Cody to the ring to counter Solo and Paul Heyman, right? And then the night, if, if we're talking about the night after WrestleMania, right? We all know how the last one went. This man messed it up completely, right? Mm-hmm. They've done it before. They can do it again where The Rock challenges Roman for next year's WrestleMania. I actually think they will pivot the decision of where Mania will go just so off this match. Oh, you think they'll put that joke in Miami, huh? God, yes. (laughs) No disrespect to my people in Indianapolis, but Rock and Roman in Miami is a lot more aesthetically pleasing than, hey, let's do this in Idaho. You know what I mean? Oh damn! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Damn. damn. Potato. They not putting no. Re- they not. Crazy. They not putting no WrestleMania in Idaho. Come on. That's crazy. They make good potatoes. They have delicious potatoes. Potatoes are some, top tier. Some of the best starch that you'll ever see. Right, man, top five. It's the reason why I can't do no carb. Like you know what I mean? Like somebody's like, "Yo, do no carbs." Nah, I'm good. Give up potatoes? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> But um, and kind of keeping this within. Oh well, Chaz, you never. How, how would you book this? Yeah, I wouldn't know though. Because <laughs> I, because I'm, because it's the first. You feel me? Like the first. Not role. All, yo. Not only does it make sense, it just helps everyone. 
And again, it you can draw it out. It, it you should, you can definitely draw it out because of what we just talked about. But man, it just it just feels like you need to strike while the iron is hot right now, man, and and, and capitalize. Um, because even because even because even if they do have it here, um, to your to your idea, Nick, you can still you can you can milk this and get it something again, right? So yeah, I, I just I need it now. Before I move on to the um, kind of intertwined to the Netflix thing, have we thought of the possibility that they don't wrestle at all? Yeah. I, no. I mean, like I said, I didn't think it was going to happen before. Like, I, no. I'm no. surprised about this. No, no, no. Stop it right now. No. <laughs> no. Y'all will not bring that negativity in here. We will not. We, we, we have been talking about this for years. We've literally we been bull- we've been bullying Dwayne. We were like, "Fight your cousin, Dwayne. Your daughter's in a cult, Dwayne. Your cousin got your your cousin got the whole world going crazy. Your family in a in a whole in shambles, and you just gonna sit back and smile." Now this man's in WWE a couple times. He finally mentions him, and now y'all want to talk about it not happening? No, it's happening in the next I mean- year. No, Chaz, 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 stop it with the negativity. We're not doing this. <laughs> All right. All right. Not, no, I don't want All negativity right. for either one of you. Right. Negative Nancy's. I just yeah. brought it up that it's a possibility. I never said it was going to happen. I just said that <laughs> there might be a possibility that match does not happen. Yeah, hey, 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 hey. Don't wish that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Hey, stop that. oh, man. Hey. <laughs> All right. So, you know, we got you, Roman Rock. Ah, that doesn't work for me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, Scott. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's go. Let's go. Because you don't lost your damn mind. I don't know what the type of shit you smoke. Let's go. Let's go. I don't like your tone. I don't like what you just did. Let's go. Let's move Dude, on. Minor Nolos. Yours. What I do? You know what you did, man. He said, "You know what you did." I you know, know what you did. But he didn't it say felt, you know it felt very did. Hulk Hoganish. So let's just let's let's. Oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> so oh. let's go. I mean. All right, man. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> Netflix reached a multi billion dollar 10 year deal for exclusive rights to WWE's flagship weekly wrestling show, Raw, as the steaming, uh, streaming giant broadens its offering for more live content. Now, what this deal entitles is that uh, the agreement will cost Netflix more than $5 billion and last for more than 10 years with the option to extend an additional 10 years or opt out after five. Uh, Dang. So number one, that's major, right? That is, I feel like that's how much, how much money did you say? Uh, 5 billion. Ooh. Whew. Ooh, man. Hey mm. man, these streaming services want that live content, bro. Mm, 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 mm. And wrestling got a lot of it, especially WWE. Mm, 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 mm. So let's just look. Okay, so WWE is now about to be on the CW. Yep. USA. Yep. 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 Netflix. Yep. Still on Peacock. Still, Still on Peacock. Peacock. Still on Peacock. Which I'm guessing ultimately, when the time comes and the deal with Peacock ends, I'm a guessing that everything that's on Peacock will be moved to Netflix. I mean, I don't see why. Well. Okay. Because, that's a, because, that's a good question. That's a good so question. outside of the United States, NXT, SmackDown, every pay per view will be exclusively on Netflix. So, really, yeah, oh. outside of the United States, if I'm not mistaken, yes, sir. Wow, okay, wow. so all right, so I guess the next move is to put it on <laughs> Netflix, huh? <laughs> Dang, I'm gonna going to get rid of Peacock. Yeah, Are you ready? I mean. Unless you're gonna keep, unless WD is trying to and TK is trying to, you know, essentially corner the market and keep content on Peacock and just have live on Netflix. I don't know what how much sense that make, but I'm also wouldn't be surprised if they they did something like that because you still will stuff you'll still have people that will still, you know, pay for Peacock just for the content itself. 
and get Netflix. Are you willing to pay? I'm not. (laughs) People will. Hey, I said it back. Somebody Somebody will. Somebody's going to do that. And I'm saying that being where WWE is now with TKO, I can see them trying to corner the streaming market. Yes, it does make sense to just put it all in one spot. But if they can somehow work out a deal with Peacock, to where everybody can still eat, I wouldn't be surprised if content was still on um, Peacock because before Disney Plus came around, um, Netflix still had Marvel. So it took a minute for Mar- uh, Disney to get all of Marvel off of Netflix. I can see something like that happening, but more so just letting it rock so that more money can come into TKO's pocket. I mean, at the same time, right? There ain't nothing on Peacock. Damn. They got here. I mean, I, I, yeah. yeah. I like a couple, but you know, it's just me. So if it wasn't for WWE, they, I probably wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have got it. Oh, they would never have my money if it wasn't for <laughs> WWE. I, I just I happened to now. find different shit when I was up there. Like, oh, John Wick. Okay. Like, to me, like Netflix has a lot of British shows that I watch. So right. it's mm-hmm. it's a one-stop shop for me. Like this now. This doesn't change anything for me. I don't watch wrestling live as it is, so it's probably it's probably gonna be, it's probably gonna be one of those things like, oh damn, Raw's on, <laughs> cool. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like a WrestleMania on Netflix, like that appeal does sound dope. You know what I mean? And then we're also talking about. Well, number one, has Netflix ever done a live show before? So they did. They've done, uh, they do live events. You, yeah, you can probably correct me if I'm wrong. I know they did one time. They did like a live thing with Dave Chappelle. Um, it was Chris Rock. Chris Rock, thank you. Mm, yeah. Okay. So it it was live, live or like? Yeah, it was literally live. It was a live okay. event. Okay. Like you got they they wanted like engagement and stuff like that. I I mean I didn't watch it, but I I heard it went okay. Okay. Speaking of live, if you like what we're doing, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube. So, um, <laughs> so the way the schedule is looking like, because I think I saw it would be Raw staying on Mondays, SmackDown will be now going to Tuesdays. Mm. So that means that either Whoa. NXT will be Wednesday or Thursday. I can see it on Thursday. I say put it on Wednesday. Re-ignite, oh, you want war war. Oh, oh the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The war, war. <laughs> Which this now goes into, because there's really not much we can talk about with the Netflix deal, but we can talk about the major news of the major free agency that is upcoming that could lead eventually to a Wednesday night war. Kazusha Okada is leaving New Japan Pro Wrestling, the Rainmaker, right? Mm -hmm. He sure is. Now, is this a big deal? Yes. For New Japan, this is a major deal. We're talking, like, somebody put it perfectly. This is like John Cena leaving WWE in the prime of his career. Said, I'm out. Okada got to make... Okada making moves, man. You know what I mean? Like, first of all, I'm as the puro god of the podcast space, right? There's you nothing. Are. There's nothing Okada needs to do left in, in in New Japan. Done it all. Seen it all. Done it all. Headline shows. Face of the company. The only way you go from that is you go down, and Okada's not going down. Right. So then, what entices a a, a, a human? You know, what entices a man? The, the 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 rain, you know what I mean? The 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 rainmaker wants more rain. You can't stop the rain. Mm-hmm. You can't stop the rain. When oh, it starts on. to fall. When, when it starts to fall. Come on, come on. That's right. Yeah, come on. Oh, um, but now the question is, where does Okada go? Right. Does Okada make the jump? 
already know. <laughs> hey, hey, man, D Mac not here, so I got to do it for him. You know where he going? Not necessarily, man. Not necessarily. Mm, right? Not okay. necessarily. Turner Classic. No. <laughs> I don't see him. I don't see him being on any uh, Turner broadcasting company. Now let's let's look at both from both perspectives, though, right? So he he does know people in AEW. Arguably, his greatest rival, Kenny Omega, is an EVP. He mm-hmm. just had the bangers with Brian, right? Mm-hmm. For some reason, he's cool with the Young Bucks, right? Mm-hmm. And Tony Khan, I guess Tony Khan has now said, like, he doesn't even have to move. Like, he could stay in Japan and be signed full-time to AEW, which is ridiculous. I mean, you only got, what, two shows? Two shows a week? And he probably only going to be on one of them? For what, twice a month? Do you know how long a flight is to Japan? A long time. It is long. That man's got a family. He does have a family. He does have a family. Or does he go... To the A team, the good team, <laughs> the the winning team, <laughs> right? Because they get the no, Tokyo, they get the Tokyo right now. For us, it will take us sixteen hours. Damn, yeah, damn, that's a long time. Woo, sixteen, mm-hmm. sixteen. I ain't gonna lie. I looked up like the prices for uh, flights to Perth. On like that off chance that uh uh like Rocket Roman was gonna happen at Elimination Chamber, I was just gonna I just wanted to look, I just wanted to look. They made me real sad. They humbled me absolutely quickly. And I said, oh, <laughs> I don't need, I don't need to be up here. Would you have really, if if it was a reasonable price? Would you have made the trip? I mean, I could have used that as my birthday trip. I've never been to Australia. What is a reasonable price to you? Uh, if I could have got everything, like including from like, my room or just a flight, flight, hotel. Room. He about yeah. to say it. Yeah. He about to say a ridiculous number. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> not ridiculous. How like ridiculous? Like cheap? Or ridiculous, <laughs> like the set. The fact that you said if you could get everything, including your hotel. Because I thought like, we were talking about the flight. You already. I, I, I yeah. know we included the room. <laughs> hey. Hey, I was just saying, man, two grand, two grand. I could have helped. I could have hoped, held out hope. Two grand. So, that's how much the that's how much the flights were. Two G's. <laughs> yes. I will see y'all at five a.m. if it happens <laughs> in the morning, watching. And that was probably for like what day is that? Basic, what day is right? the show? Uh, the same day as Ashe. So the twenty. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Oh, Ouch. man. So I got to wake up early to watch wrestling and then drive yep. five hours to watch more wrestling. <laughs> and then if we were going to go to Fight Club the next day, drive eight hours. It's a lot. For more wrestling. I would never do that to you. I would never do that to you. Hey, man. I would never do that to you. I would love to go to Fight Club. It's not in the cards, dog. Oh no, I feel you, man. I feel you. Look, we support in in we support in right here. You know what I mean? We support Absolutely. right there. But uh, back to uh, Okada, right? So if he goes to AEW, this is my holdup with Okada and AEW. Yeah, it's cool. It's you know, what I mean, the aesthetic is dope. You're kind of not really changing much of the presentation, but. There really ain't nothing that stands out to where I'm like, I want to see Okada in Dynamite. You know what I mean? Like, there's not – yeah, you got the swerve match, boom, boom. But you you see how they kind of get down with their matches anyway. Like, it just doesn't do anything for me. Now, Okada at WWE speaks volumes. Yeah. Without a doubt. Just number one. Oda Ka- an Okada entrance at WrestleMania? It's going to be beautiful. 
here, here are those coins. You better not in the next couple weeks see a, me watch a Nakamura promo where he's talking about he's coming. That's a real tear, hey. bro. That's a real tear. Come on, think about it, bro. Think about it. I'm here. Shinsuke in the ring. Did you hear that? Co- like, no, that you hear that coin drop? It's gonna be like the. Oh. It's gonna be like get Richard die trying. Like something legendary is about to unfold after it. <laughs> I wish I had. I wish I had some coins near me. I'd have dropped some. <laughs> <laughs> I'd drop some, but I ain't got it. I had to get up for that. I'm all right. <laughs> um, I mean, but what do you think? Like, you know, what I mean, what to you? Let's start with Chaz. What do you think? Is the best oh, okay. course. Yeah, I know. I already know your answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chaz, where would you want to see Okada go to? I would. Yeah, I, I'm with WWE. I would love to see that. Um, I even love the fact if you know wherever he start. I, I think the idea would be dope. Obviously, he's ready for the you know main card regardless. But even if you slide him in the NXT, um, you know the potential there is like uh, Dragon off and Okada or. Ah. Uh, what's the that's, what's the motherfucking that's, name? That's what Skyler said yesterday. Brats. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> like shit like that. And then I know, like I, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, is NXT doing deals? With, well, before I say that, does Okada got any issues with all, all Japan? What New Japan? And it too. He's he's his home promotion is New Japan. Nah, well, he was, was asking was, because oh, NXT. Right. NXT that's what I was working asking. doing the. Does he have any like or with issues with Japan all Japan? Japan? Okay, so I'm mean, like I said, I mean, he's done it all, but even that potential to see what it could be from that aspect, I thought I think would be dope. And y'all can speak more to that, but I mean, it, it doesn't seem like it. You can miss with that the potential on any brand, um, the Shinsuke angle, Dragon off scripts. Come on, bro. I mean, I mean, the, like the scripts write themselves. It's just. <laughs> No, I'm talking about the wrestler script. Oh, Reggie. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. Look, Okada being a part of OTM. <laughs> Okada posted up with Jada Parker. Come on. Oh, my. All Come right, on. take it easy. I'm sorry. I didn't oh, say that. Oh, I didn't say that. I got a girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. No, <laughs> no, no. You were right. You were right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Damn! Look, damn. At, look, at, look, look at Scotland. Scotland like rookie, <laughs> rookie. Huh? Chestnut Woo. checkers, my boy. You're right. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Luckily, she's doing a uh, social media clean, so I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, he said he's safe. Woo! <laughs> so even though I already know your answer, Nolo, why do you mm-hmm. think Okada should go to WWE? Because why would you go to the B team? Oh, wow. Mm. I mean, honestly, like, for what? You want to be bigger and better, don't you? I, I'm assuming that's what he wants to do. Not necessarily. I mean, cut y'all I mean he doesn't have doesn't to. Matter. He uh, could I'm just, a, hey, oh. he could just go oh. back, huh? I was, no, let me cut y'all off. Just updating. Regal's back on NXT. Hey. What's okay, he doing? Sorry. What's he doing? Uh, let me check. War Games! <laughs> War guys. <laughs> Missed it. Oh, no, uh, I'm uh, sorry. Go ahead, Noah. Oh, oh, no. Ava is the new GM of, uh, oh, of, uh, look, oh. look, that is nepotism at its finest right there. The Rock gets appointed the, uh, In the order same of the day. and she gets to be the new GM. Just not check as my boy. <laughs> I guess Shawn Michaels was losing the vision of what he was doing. Oh, man. Oh, oh come on, dog. Can we get through one podcast? <laughs> come on. Without bro. you slandering this man's heavy asset? Can we talk no, about something? No, no, we can't. I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, wait. Listen, listen. We're going to talk about something positive. Like Last Legend on my television. That's, That's what, right. Last Legend. That's what we're going to do. Last right. Legend. Flourishing black women by the about the sin by the sin rinse and clear to the upper room to the upper room. room. Um, but yeah, so but no, to finish my point, yeah, what you what you were saying, yes, sir. Why I know he does I, he doesn't need to. I guess it just depends what he truly wants. If he wants to just 
treat wrestling like his like part time job. Show up when he wants to. Be like, hey guys, I'm here today. I'll see you maybe in two weeks. Then that's fine. He do his thing. But if he wants to go to like a higher stratosphere, which I feel like he does, only WWE can do that for him. If I was a recruiter, I probably would hit Okada and be like, hey man, do you really want to go hang with these white people? You know what I mean? Like Brian Danielson. The young bucks, you see how they do business, Mm -hmm. or do you want to go hang out with your homies? You know what I mean? Shinsuke, Finn, Mm -hmm. right? Come on, bro. Gunther and Okada. Mm. Come on, take my money. Just just a right, a rightful person to end the streak. Mm. Gunther, Chad Gable, another person. I'm just thinking of just matches that probably snap. Guther and Randy, uh, not Guther and Randy, Okada and Randy Orton. I knew what you meant. It's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah, we we were, yeah, yeah we were. Yeah. <laughs> Rated Rainmakers. Come on, man. Rated Rainmakers. Rated Rain. <laughs> <laughs> My man is cooking over there. I see you. He got uh, the hat on. He different. I'm just saying, dog. Uh, so we'll see. You will see his free agency. I believe his contract ends on. The 31st, but he's finishing up some dates. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's February 11th uh, that he will have his final match with Tanahashi. The Super uh, Bowl. Yeah, President Ace. Is that is that the same day? It is yeah, the same day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's the uh, day after my birthday. Young man out of here. Oh, well, hey, man. I feel like we've gone long enough. We gotta talk about sad stuff now. No, we don't. We really yes, don't. We do. We don't. We do. We do have to talk about something sad. Hey man, I was sad when you sent me that text message, bro. I said, "Nah, not my guy." Yeah. Unfor- R.I.P. The ice ice train, man. Yes, man. Unfortunately, Howard Hugh, uh, better known to the world as Ice Train and My Smooth, passed away at the age of fifty six. Um, it was confirmed by Diamond Dallas Page, who was a good friend of his. Um, I don't know about y'all. I, I can only speak from my experience, but also I feel like I, you guys echo the same sentiments. If you grew up watching WCW, you knew who Ice Train was. Like Ice Train Absolutely. wasn't like a – he wasn't like a, a main eventer, but Ice Train carried himself like a main eventer. Like I loved Ice Train. Like he was the first like big guy – that was black that I remember seeing on my television screen that just like he oozed charisma. He was agile. Like, you know what I mean? Like some of my favorite tag mm-hmm. team matches was him and Scott Norton against the Steiner brothers, or, you know what I mean? Like he had a little manager um, pairing with uh, Teddy long. Um, fun fact, ice train actually spent a lot of his career also in Germany and was real popular in Germany as well. Really? I didn't yes, know sir. Wow. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then he was um, a part of the the New Blood stable, you know what I mean? Like he, uh, I know at the, at the end he was with um, he had a little feud with Canyon. He was helping uh, Ernest the Cat Miller, you know what I mean? Stuff like mm-hmm. that. Uh, he actually wrestled his last match in 2019 against Dave Taylor in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in Germany. Okay. But yeah, but uh, I was sad, very sad. Mm, man, those fire, those fire and ice team, man. That was, those were some good matches, and uh, even even the eventual feud that they had. Oh yeah, good, man, yeah, man. The original big meaty men bumping me. Yeah, yeah, they were. Uh, man. Chaz, Chaz, were you familiar with uh with uh eight ice train? So I'm glad you asked me when I started doing my deep dive into uh you know the deep cuts of WCW. Um, I got to him and I was able to enjoy. A good portion of his match and you know he reminds me not comparing him but when i look at powerhouse hobbs i i see mm. a lot of him in, in ice tray um like you said the charisma the, the style the the athleticism as a as a big man um you know it's just it's unfortunate you know he was never able to it's unfortunate he was ever able to be a main emitter but like you said nick just because you're not doesn't mean you can't perform like a main inventor and that's what i got from watching him and enjoying him um, when I started doing my dive, so definitely rest in peace. Um, I, I uh, like I said, I wish I could have, you know, I just had more, 
information and watch WCW more when I was coming up, but I'm glad I'm able to do it now. I have a, a deeper appreciation for, for the graphs and for the graphs and African Americans in this space that we love. Yeah. So uh just one time for my man. Choo choo. So rest in peace, Ice Trade. Thank you for the memories. Just a quick moment of silence, real quick, gentlemen. All right. So we got a pay per view this weekend. We do. We do. And, we oh, do. oh. So now you want to bring the title? <laughs> man, man of his word. Hey. I will say, hey, that, brother. Man, man of hey, his word. I told, I told you what it was. I told you what it is, baby. <laughs> How come every time you talk about the title, you got to take your glasses off? <laughs> I have to show you my seriousness of how my ferociousness of how I will defend this title. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Yes. <sighs> Me. <sighs> y'all both y'all both about to lose the sight of what's important. Which is? <laughs> bah! <laughs> Yeah, you ain't shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't no, the damn. So, the Royal Rumble, an actual real big four pay per view, something that people Stop. look forward to, something Stop that it. people actually enjoy, something that people Why you just touching? to just to compare. Survivor Series was in a an arena in Chicago. We are in a stadium, Tropicana Field, baby. Yeah, it's a baseball stadium. I I looked at those. I looked at those prices. And I said, "No, thank you." <laughs> no, no, no. I don't know. I can't do baseball. Baseball ain't my thing. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Now, with this being the Royal Rumble, obviously we are now on the road to WrestleMania. It's the beginning point, right? But before we get to the prediction, it is important to note that Seth Rollins did tear his MCL, or it was a, I believe, a slight tear. If I'm Slight mistaken. tear of the MCL, yeah. and he has a little bit of a meniscus tear. A meniscus, right? So mm-hmm. we can't do the predictions without actually talking about this because this does put – not in jeopardy because now he's confirmed he will be at Mania. All you got to do, wrap that brother up in some bubble wrap, put him in some mm-hmm. ice. Sit your ass down. Bag up, put some in his eye, be, be good to go. You know what I mean? Play, play with little baby Rollins. You know what I mean? It just wait. Stop. We being serious right now. Put it down. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I don't think I'll do that. I will not. That's fair. That's fair. Now, were you nervous when you saw that Seth had injured something? Especially going into WrestleMania, because obviously we know where this is going to. You know, I mean, we'll talk about it a little bit. But if the plan is we're doing Seth and Punk, and then Seth gets hurt, there ain't nothing to look forward to. There's not. There's not. That's when we come. That's when we. It's the sad times. Remember, we was talking about how like star studded this WrestleMania was gonna be. And then you take out a major part of that star studded. <laughs> yes. One of the uh, nights that are gonna main event, one of the main events. Now, with that being said, I will say the opening to Raw was excellent because yes, was. we got the Thanks. first, if I'm not mistaken, the first interaction between Seth Rollins and Gunther. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yes, yeah. it was. I thought Gunther was about to send that man to the upper room Bruh. of death. <laughs> I thought – so, like, I figured that he wasn't going to take him out because I figured he was, like, going to be on some gentleman shit. But he was going to still talk crazy to him. Very disrespectful, like. But he just wanted to let him know that I'm about to Gun- beat your ass. Gunther does seem like the type, like, like I'm going to wait till you heal up. But when I do mm. – that's your ass, buddy. <laughs> That's your ass. That's your ass, buddy. That's your um, ass, Mr. Postman. And then we had what I thought, what I would actually declare the segment of the month between CM Punk, Philip Brooks, and CM Rhodes, Cody. CM Rhodes. CM <laughs> Rhodes. Oh, man. Uh, oh. But now nah, they, they, they did their thing, though. That was dope. This is what I was waiting on. 
They made you wait to the 10 o'clock hour. They, they did. <laughs> but boy, Luckily, I was out I was outside, so I ain't watching till this morning on my phone, but I, I was I was glued. It, it, it uh shout out to your mean, Mr. Mr. Scotland, because it was right on point. It was perfection no, all across by. the board. Done by the uh the original homelander. That's right. Yes. Um, the, original, <laughs> the original homelander. <laughs> so I my mind my mind took uh, a a funny turn because I really wish there was a voice message of Dusty Rose talking to CM Punk about oh. about a <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, hey, Punk baby. They should <laughs> yo they sh- they should have did the they should have made some AI shit for real. They, they could, that would have ruined the moment. <laughs> If hey, this was baby. Savage Punk, that that could have been a like Fifty Cent Punk. This that could have been a possibility. The the, the metalty of uh, Punk, baby, <laughs> and like play so, it on the Titans run, boy. I got my son. You know, he's a little boy. Wet. He that he's, he's my 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 baby. He, he's a little wet behind the ears. He's a little wet behind <laughs> the ears. But he uh, he coming down to Ohio, and he he don't know the baby. Man, he is gonna be a star. He's not. He's not gonna be Dustin. He's not gonna be Dustin. He's gonna be a star. I just need you to look after my baby boy, my my precious baby boy. Mm. Well done. Could have nah, been better. Uh, could have been better. Nah, nah. could have been better. Nah, nah, been better. Nah, nah, no, don't just, do don't I don't. Do I don't. Nah. I don't like disrespecting the the legacy of Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, Vince, I'll, nah, man. Vince, you, I'll, you Vince, just... I'll disrespect all day. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is a Cody Rhodes? <laughs> I wonder how oh, this is taking. No, a second thought. No, I don't. Let's move on. You don't think one who? <laughs> he, was wondering, he was wondering how Vince was taking something. And Take, said, taking all this TKO, but the second thought, I don't give a fuck. No, no. Oh, you ain't it, you ain't see that uh that uh train conductor at the uh the ring the bell joint. He was right nah, there. I did. I did. <laughs> he don't have he look. He, he doesn't have the mustache anymore. Uh, yes, he did. <laughs> I got yes, to look that up. He definitely had the mustache though. No, nah, no, nah, he took it off. It looked like he still had it. That's because of the surgery he got done to his lips, so it curves. So in the <laughs> now, shadow, now it looks I feel like, like, a I feel like he, Oh man, if you're up, I thought he had the mustache still. No, nah, bro. Uh. I could be wrong, but I feel like he didn't have the mustache. I feel like he had it because that's what made me laugh because I knew who he was. Uh, uh, okay, wait a second. Yeah, but, whatever. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, but um, let's get into it, man. The Royal Rumble comes once a year. Now, as of right now, there's only four scheduled matches. So we got to do this prediction a little bit differently. And I feel like we do when we do defend the title. So, but starting out, the United States Championship match, Logan Paul, Kevin Owens. Should be a good match. Yeah, it should be. Should be. I feel like it's... I don't know, like, uh, is it missing something for you? It is. Is like this one's oh. not. This one's not speaking to me like how like a lot of local Paul, Logan Paul's matches are, and that's no knock on Kevin Owens. I just feel, I feel like when it comes to this match and the Universal match, which is a little bit differently, but I feel like you know who the winner is going to be. It's going to be a great match. X Y Z. But then once we're done with that, we got to move on to the next, the next one. Like this feels like it's just filling out the card. That's fair. I feel you. That's yeah. fair. I get that. I agree. So my pick is Logan Paul, obviously. Paul of Logan. Hmm. LP. LP. All right. Uh, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. The match I'm actually looking forward to. The Tribal Chief Roman Reigns defense title against Randall Orton, Alan Jones Styles, and Ladarius Andre Knight. Yeah. 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 Um obviously I can speak for all of us. We're all picking Roman. 
Yeah. Yes. Who takes the pin? Ah, that's a good. Now you cooking. Now you cooking. <laughs> uh, mm. Nolo. Uh, your boy, the fastest rising star Damn. in all of WWE. Damn. You don't want Damn. that man to get. You don't want that man hey. to get. Hey, night. You don't want. So you don't want yeah. that man to get no shine. Damn. I didn't say he wasn't going to get no shine. I'm just saying he's taking the pin because I know it's not going to be Randy, and I doubt it's AJ. I and it AJ. can't. And it can't. And it can't be Roman because Roman winning. Why wouldn't it be Randy? I just don't see him losing. I feel like I feel like the only way Randy takes the pin is that they have their own match, and then he pins him. Mm. I feel you. But if we're looking at the schedule, there would be no way for them to do a Roman Randy match between now and Mania. So I feel you. I feel that if there's going to be a top, because I feel that AJ and LA now are going to cancel each other out. I think they're going to be the match at Mania, or at least if not Mania, they're going to definitely tumble at um at a elimination, elimination chamber. chamber. So then that leaves Randy and. I feel like the final sequence will be Randy hitting the RKO. I do think Solo will get involved in the match. As always. Of course. Of course. Or Jay. My, I'm sorry, not Jay. Oh, my Jimmy. home my homeboy who doesn't watch wrestling, but he like kind of like watch he watches like WrestleMania and stuff. Yeah. And like a couple other things. He was like, has Roman Reigns won by the same way every single time? <laughs> like, one of, like one of his family members just comes and pops up. And I was like, yeah, kind of. He used to win clean. Remember those days he used to win clean and just beat people down? And look, the crowd hated it. He, they did hate it. Yeah. They did yeah. hate it. Mm. Yeah. But at the same time, it doesn't bother me. I don't. It don't. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Like I said, the only time I was genuinely shocked at a Roman title win was the Cody Rose joint. That was wild. That was a yeah. quiet house we were in. Yeah, that, yeah. that, yeah, that was a shock. That threw me for a, a, a loop. But mm-hmm. that's not what we we love these matches, but we don't care about these matches. Nick, it's the Royal Rumble. 30 men, 30 women, you know what I mean? Now, I like the idea that there has not been that many participants named, right? So you mean the way that they should do it? Yes. Right? And just <laughs> let them show up. <laughs> so as of right now, let's start with the women's one. As of right now. The only announced participants are Bailey, Nia Jax, Becky Lynch, and the new cover star of WWE 2K24, ah. Bianca Belair. Yes. With uh with the uh Rhea Ripley and Cody. I guess they're ready. Yeah, whatever. But uh could have just been star. by herself, but that's yeah. another conversation for another day. Exactly. And the new star of the new reality show. Love in WWE with Bianca Belair and Montez Ford. Mm-hmm. Yes. Am I shilling WWE product? Absolutely. <laughs> That's uh, right. <laughs> so, but, uh, yes. Who do y'all have winning? So, before we get there, right? Oh, before, before we get okay. there. Yeah, before we get there, my, my eager champion, let's talk about the key things I love to talk about in the Rumble. Let's get the, the first thing out of the way. Surprise entrance, right? Mm. Is there anybody of note that you think will make an appearance, returning, debuting? Trinity. Yeah, that's where I'm going to go. Trinity. Okay. I don't know how far fast it is. Um, she is. But... I mean, she's from Orlando. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. that Tampa right Street. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can see Mickey Jane... James coming back. Why? Yeah. Why not? She was already there. I mean, so why not? <laughs> it isn't Mickey Hurt. I thought she just that. I'm not, she just I'm not aware of that. Oh, I don't know. I know after the because her last match was against Trinity. I thought she just was chilling. She yeah, might be. That's not gonna pop me. Like well, I, 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 I mean, that's gonna be that's you. gonna be one of those like oh. I'm here <laughs> for all. <of> <laughs> <laughs> we uh, all get along. The uh, this is not nece- this is not necessarily like. Do you think it's happened? This is going to be more of a one that it, it won't happen. Ten that it will happen. Mm-hmm. Will we see Mercedes Monet, aka Sasha Banks? 
I'm gonna say yes. three. I'm saying it's a three that it's not gonna. I'm it's, I'm concrete that it's not happening. Mm. Six. Okay. That is gonna happen. Give it a D plus. All right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. All right. Mm. Because if not, this has got to be Mania, right? If that's the case. <laughs> Revolution. <laughs> yeah. Live, um, in Green- Live in Greensboro. I'm going to go I'm gonna go seven. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Is there anybody? I saw that Michelle McCool is going to be there. Oh. No, oh, that's cute. <laughs> AJ Lee. Does she make an appearance? Oh, oh that would be dope. That'll I hope dope. she does. Oh, oh man. Turn it see, up. Da, da, see her da, skip into the da, ring? Da, oh, man. Dope. Jumping right oh, up. Oh, man. That would be dope. Jumping right up. Oh, uh, man. I need her. Like, if she does, I need her and Roxy to have, like, a little moment. Oh, yeah. A little oh, mother, yeah, mother-daughter moment. Yeah. Yeah, a little mother-daughter shit. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah, say yeah, you yeah. could throw Cora in there, but she. Oh, she, Cora. Woo. Boy, that's, look, that's some bad luck for that ass, boy. A lot. That's what happens when you, when you tan a lot. Uh, Damn. I didn't know hey, that man. was a Yo, of- <laughs> leave. Hey, I, I didn't know. Leave, <laughs> leave light skin Cora alone. <laughs> leave her Dominican alone. Cora. Dominican. Dominic- <laughs> <laughs> Cora. No black, I'm Dominican. <laughs> Cora. Cora Jade. <laughs> Cora Jade. <laughs> Speaking of Jade, does Jay Gar- Jade Cargill make an appearance? I don't know go why. No. I'm going to oh. go no. Because yeah. I, my bad, I didn't mean to cut you off. But no, you go ahead. I feel like, like I told you how, like who she should go up against for her debut. But I don't know exactly when they're going to do it. I don't feel like it's going to be the Royal Rumble. Okay. All right. Yeah. Chaz? I was going to say no just because of, you know, just – the, the hype machine that's been surrounding her and you know well deserved and i like if you're gonna bring her i love i would love to see that happen at mania um you know if it's versus naya or whatever case may be she deserves that um however you want to do it night one night two so yeah i i if you're gonna do it which i think they are gonna do i think she, she pops up at mania all right so uh before we get to the the eventual winner your final four predictions Ooh. for me for me it's my final four is Asuka, Kyrie Sane, a returning Dakota Kai, and Bailey. Oh, wow. You go with that one. Okay. And, wow. my, and my prediction for the Women's Royal Rumble is Bailey. Wow. So, okay. I, have, I have the same prediction. Same person. I did not have to fight a four that way. No, right. I did not. So my logic. <laughs> my, so before before y- y'all answer, my logic is damage beco- damage control has been running rough shot on the locker room. Right. I do not think Oscar and Kyrie Sane are winning the women's tag team titles on Friday. I don't mm-hmm. think that. I think Bailey will inadvertently cost them the match. Right now, I could see them winning. You know what I mean? It would make sense. But I see Bailey overtly costing them the match. And I see Bailey being the last. Like I see Dakota making the return and next everything. And I see Bailey being the last of the four to enter the rumble. So up into this time, I feel like Oscar, um, Kyrie, Kyrie, and Dakota and I and Neo Sky's on the outside, they're gonna just like. Do the the gang shit. Throw people out. Boom, 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 boom. So when Bailey comes out, there's like a two minute like I I feel like they could pull it off to where you could sense the tension. Are they gonna attack each other? You know what I mean? Are they gonna jump Bailey? But I feel that when you get to the final four, that's not necessarily when they kick Bailey out the group. But or no, that's when I would do it. That's essentially when I would kick Bailey out the group. They. They get to the final four, and that's when they finally put hands and feet on Bailey. Mm, and Bailey okay. and Bailey overcomes and wins the rumble. Oh man, look at that feel good story right there. And yeah. no, no, no. no. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you think oh. Pam the Ams is winning, you think that she will win over Trinity, Mercedes, and or Jade? Yes, I do, my love. Yes, I do think Pam will win over Trinity, Mercedes, and Jade. I just know how this company operates. <laughs> <laughs> and so plus, who are you for again? Who are you for? Shout out. Damage, essentially damage, damage control. Oh, damage, oh, okay, control. Okay. damage Everyone who could be in the Royal Rumble that's a damage control minus the EO Sky. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, Nolo, your turn. Your final four and your winner. Uh, my winner is going to be Bailey. Uh, the final four, I was thinking along the lines of Bailey, Asuka, Becky, and uh, Bianca. Oh, Beck Becks. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And Nia Jax is the fifth one, and they all get her out. Who's your final elimination? So if it's Bailey winning, who? So for me, like for me, I Bayley, wanted to be Bianca. Oh damn, you throwing out the black woman. Now, so this is why. This is wow. why because wow. I it's don't do this. That's crazy, do this. dog. Let's not do this. She has <laughs> hey. <laughs> In yours, she has to get eliminated too. So stop it. Yeah, Don't but I've got but I've gotten the pain out the way. You wait until no. the last minute. But re- no, no, no. But listen, listen. With Bianca, she has gotten over on Bailey pretty much every single time. Like she's she's pretty she is the uh globe trotters and Bailey is the Washington Generals. Oh no. So I feel like why not let her Bianca goes to be the second. She's the second to last woman in the match. She gets thrown out by Bailey. Bailey wins. We all know Bailey about to pick her good buddy EO Sky to go up against. <laughs> because I don't think because I don't think they're gonna turn on her at the rumble. There might something might happen at the rumble, but I don't think that's when they're gonna put hands and feet on her. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. So yes, I man. have <clears throat> my final four is Bailey. Bianca, ah, tell me out here, redhead, Becky, 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 Bex, Bex, um, Bex. thank you. And um, Bex. oh shit, excuse me, real quick, gentlemen, I got to charge my computer real quick. Not the, oh, not do you, uh, do you think, brother? Not Asuka, but um, Kyrie. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I see. <clears throat> I see. I got Bailey winning, but how I see it going is. Shorty came back and disrupted the flow of damage control, right? Between mm-hmm. Bailey, um, Dakota Kai, and and Eo and, Eo and Eo. So I see as if, bitch, you fucked over what I had going on. I don't like your punk ass anyway. She, I'm sorry, I was kind of <laughs> <laughs> fucking out of pocket. I don't, I don't like your bitch ass. <laughs> I've been waiting to get this get back for quite some time. My I man see going crazy. Bailey <laughs> eliminating Kai. Uh, for the final, Kai's the final one. I see Bailey picking him to win, and I also see him winning at the Rumble. I'm sorry, at uh, WrestleMania. What is okay. Oh yeah, she 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 should definitely win at at the WrestleMania. Get a win. Yeah. Wait, who was your prediction? Bailey. Oh, so I already said Bailey. Okay. Yeah, Bailey. Bailey. Okay. Yeah. What is right. what is the likelihood? Uh, I would get to see, see Lash in the Rumble. It's possible. It's I mean, definitely possible. I think it's possible. I, I think. If you're, I think. I think of the end of the NXT branch. Roxanne's a possibility. I think Tiffany Stratton's a definite. For sure. Yeah. I think Tiffany. I think. Um, what's uh Shorty's uh, Lyra Valkyrie? Yeah, I can see possibly. That. Yeah. I can see. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to see. It. What's the Shorty that wanted to break out? Um. Oh, Lola Vice? Lola Vice, yeah. Yeah. No, you don't think so? I yeah. I don't see her being yeah. I don't okay. see her being there personally. Right, 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 right. Damn, but she's not even all allowed backstage. God, damn. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Somebody free. Be, oh, there it is. You, all right. How you gonna hate out outside the club? You can't even get in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I think I think she'll be there. I think she'll be she'll be there. She's gonna be in the club, and that's okay. That's fair. Damn. And that's she can't fine. even get in. She can't even get in. She can't even get in catering to Nolo standards. <laughs> hey yo, man, I'm tired. <laughs> Why y'all keep twisting my words, man? <laughs> the the men's rumble. <laughs> All 
Um, <laughs> as of right now, only eight men have been confirmed. Uh, we have Codif Rhodes, uh, CM Phillip, Shinsuke Nakamura, Big Bob Lashley, the currently unsigned or currently looking like to be a free agent, Drew McIntyre, mm-hmm. Walter, my, my man mm-hmm. Kofi Kingston, and the dumbest individual, Damian, Damian Priest. Oh. Um. Yeah, Damien Priest, not you're not all there, brother. You're not all there because you had a perfect <laughs> opportunity to cash in your money in the bank, and then not only did you have the perfect opportunity, you don't even need to be in this match. You just here. You can cash your. You can cash. Yeah, you just here for the vibes. <laughs> here for the vibes, bro. <laughs> hey. Oh, shout! Out. First of all, quick. Uh, yeah, K- Kofi has not been looking good the last couple of rumbles. Oh. <laughs> Kofi not been doing good. Yeah, been rough. He keep, he keeps trying to do his uh his stick that one spot. Don't work. Yeah. Dude, did did he say last year he's retired from doing from doing this? He did say he was gonna stop doing. He did, that. Yeah, he did say that. So Kofi, I believe it when I see uh, it. Sh- first of all, shout out because I think yesterday was the 16 year anniversary of Kofi Kingston making his WWE debut. Hey, you know wasn't what I mean? his birthday too? Ah, uh, nah, did you? No. Oh, okay. is he? No, I said no. You posted no. about his when he's just started. His birthday is in August. Okay, oh, so uh, I yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, and then on Monday we get Kofi Kingston and Gunther. We are, we do, we do, we do. Yes. We do. which we do, which now leads to. Surprise entrance in the men's rumble. I'm keeping my expectations low. Mm. Do we see? Do we see Big E? I'm going. Yeah, bro. I'm throwing live. Got the fuck. Matter of fact, my window right here. I'm gonna throw that motherfucker out. Yeah. yeah. God damn. Damn. Yeah, because the streets so need you, it, man. The, the, the streets need the coke, bro. So you setting yourself up for the disappointment. I feel and if you. that's the case, then God damn it, so be it, man. I, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yolo. I would jazz. <laughs> Nick, you know you want to. You know you want Come to. On. You know you want to. Can I answer? To. Can I answer? Can I can I can I answer for myself, please? Can I answer for I myself? I apologize. Go ahead. Hey, Thank you. Hey, hey, join the flock. Join us. Come on. Come on. Come on. Number one. Number one. Come on. Delusion. I've been to delusion. I've been told hey. y'all. I've been told y'all think he's gonna he's returning at the wrong <laughs> I, I absolutely I absolutely join absolutely join delusion. Let me, tell you let me let me tell you something, right? I I I have become very versed in like reading subtle things you know what i mean now am i being realistic absolutely right but there's no coincidence that after what many moons that the new day is having wars with imperium and the imperium feud is leading to kofi versus gunther Who was that? I believe it too. I believe it too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was, who the hell is that in the background? I don't know. It's probably. Somebody. I was gonna say it's not mine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. oh, oh it's def- it was definitely mine. It oh, was okay. definitely yeah. mine. <laughs> um, number two, it's not no coincidence that my man has been ma- he's making appearances. He's gonna be on the bump on mm-hmm. Tuesday or Wednesday. Yep. They're going to be on the Drew Barrymore show in a couple weeks. The entire New Day. Mm. All of them. He, if I'm not mistaken, what's today? The 20th. I think tomorrow, his um, what is our hero rocks? They're premiering a trailer for their interpretation of Ruby, uh, Ruby Bridges. Oh, really? One time. I'm sorry, I kind of missed that. Say it again. I said that uh, Biggie has a. Like an educational collective that he has, and they're 
premiering a short film on their interpretation of Ru Rudy Bridges. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So could Biggie return? Absolutely. He's from Tampa. So, you know what I mean? I want to see it. I want to see it. Um, does does Big Brock come back? It's Rumble season. Oh, you know what that means. I mean, it's it's not impossible, but I, I don't. This is the first time I can actually say I don't. I don't see it. I don't it's know. WrestleMania season. It is, and that's the yeah. time he you know shows up and takes the spotlight away from black people. But uh. <laughs> Hey man, that man is God's. That man is Godzilla. Listen, you know what time it is. I God, when when Godzilla love. comes up, when Godzilla shows up, you know what time it is. I'm just saying, you know, track record speaks for itself. But again, another conversation for another day. I don't see it though. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's go with somebody even more unrealistic. MJF. No. <laughs> What if Absolutely yo? Not. What if the number? What if the number one? Entry, what if the number one entrant is Cody, and the number two you hear? Apparently, that theme is public domain, so WWE could use it. Really? Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, I would, per I heard I would that. personally yeah. be shocked. Um, I'm trying to think who else? Oh, Andrade. I can see that. That could definitely Andrade. see that. That's definitely intriguing. Yeah. Zelina can't wait for him to come back. Oh, yeah. yeah she's going to be talking. Get me away from that. these losers. <laughs> these corny uh, mass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> so, your final four, gentlemen. Mm. For me, uh, let's see. Cody. Cody. All right. Cool. Punk. Okay. Drew, okay, Gun Gunther. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. With That's my what prediction. I my prediction being Drew McIntyre. What? Wow. You don't. You don't believe that. You don't believe that. Wow. That's why. He just uh, hey, listen, Mister Booker, because you've been cooking. Why Drew? If we being man. on it, country man. <laughs> oh, goddamn oh. right! No, no, that's not really my putt, my pick. But if you think about it, out of everybody I announced in that final four, Drew is having the best work of his life right now. No question, because it's out of hate. You know what I mean? Exactly right. Mm -hmm. Like. Every time Drew is on screen, every time Drew has had the mic, he has been killing it, right? Now, would I be shocked if he won the Rumble? Absolutely, but I wouldn't be surprised necessarily. I think Punk is winning. I do think Punk is winning. Actually, oh, you know what? Can I take something out of my Final Four? Go for it. I do not think Cody will make the Final Four. Oh. Wow. Who you got? I think Cody... I think Cody will be eliminated quite early in the match. Mm. Damn. Mm. Okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear no, me no, out. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you take a dramatic nigga out of finishing the story, then you just created compelling television between now and when we figure out how we get him in the main event. So if y'all remember the 2010 Rumble, the storyline going into the match was Shawn Michaels wanting to win to rematch against The Undertaker at WrestleMania 26. Yes, yep. yes he did. And Shawn yes, Michaels was eliminated. He wasn't eliminated mm -hmm. early, but he was eliminated. And then right. Shawn disappeared for like a month and then practically forced The Undertaker's hand. My name is the block. Would the... <laughs> it would make sense, right? Because it's too predictable if you do... Cody and Punk in the final two. While I think that'd be dope, I think the final two should be Drew and CM Punk. Damn. So, and then Drew gets knocked out again. Exactly. <laughs> so out here playing Lifetime movies. 
I apologize. I just saw Electra Lopez and Lola Vice beefing. I didn't know that was even a thing. My bad. Oh yeah. Yeah, they 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 uh they uh they, got into it last week. I saw the foreshadow. I just didn't know it was gonna happen this soon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did it last weekend. Last gotcha. week, I mean, last Tuesday. Um. Uh, so my winner, CM Punk. Cody's definitely gonna be in my final four. So okay. it's Cody, yeah. CM Punk, Gunther. Drew's a very good pick. Drew's like a very like I could see it. Mm. Nobody else compels me, so I'm gonna just go with Drew. Can I ask you a question? If, um oh, yes. go ahead. I was Oh gonna no, ask. I was gonna say I was all I was gonna say is if Big E happens to make a return, is he in the in your final four? Nah. Damn. <laughs> I don't see it, man. First, Bianca, Damn. then Big E. God. <laughs> Nigga, no. Hey, dog. Yo. No, 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 no. No black people succeeded in this. <laughs> he didn't even. No, no, did he? No, no, did he even do all like, oh, man, I would really love that, but I don't see it happening. This man said, nah. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> That's sick, man. <laughs> Goodness yo, gracious. Dog. Yo. Hey, hey. Man, what, no one wanted this to be an all white rumble. <laughs> God damn. Nick, he didn't even give it a second thought. Hey, no man. hesitation. Yo. I will say. You, y'all, you, know y'all, 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 you know what no you know what no did? No one was like, that don't work for me, brother. No, 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 get somebody else to do it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You know what? But y'all you know have done what? a great y'all have done a great job with this narrative that y'all come up with. I'm happy for y'all. Y'all did you y'all do your thing. Oh my god. Thing. Definitely. Oh god. Oh and man. That's, and that's okay. I'm sorry, oh, man. man. I, I just, it was so quick for you. It was, like, it was so fast. <laughs> it's all right, man. It's oh, all right. God. Y'all, y'all just hating, hating on a brother, but it's fine. Hating on a brother. Okay. Okay. I still got a chance to win my bet. We good. We oh, out God. here. Most Chaz, fantastic. your final four, your final four and winner. Oh, boy. Um, I had the same like you had. I had uh, Gunther, Drew, CM Punk, and um, Cody. I actually, but I had Cody winning instead of CM Punk. Back to back. I had Cody. Yeah, I got Cody winning instead of CM that's, Punk. Yo, that face nickname is that's hilarious. That, that was that's that it. was nasty. Ugh. He that that's exactly how he felt. Yeah. Nasty. Yeah, nasty, I got. I, I, I see it. Um. Mm. That's uh, it. Gina Parker's on my television, so that's great. Let's Ooh. go. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> I ain't going to learn. I ain't going to learn. I ain't going to learn. You're not. You're not. I'm You're not. not. You're, not. I'm not. You're not. I don't know why I keep doing this. I figured out. Mediocre. Get... Yeah. yeah. Rookie. Rookie. <laughs> mm-hmm. I see you. Oh. <laughs> uh, so that's the Royal Rumble predictions. Um, no, though, I know you got to get to uh, to bed soon, so we're gonna hit a quick rapid fire. You know, what I mean, some quick notes, and then we'll we'll wrap it up and oh. get up on our way. Before we do the quick notes, I guess this can be a quick note, but can we start it off with the absolute praise for Queen Amanada? Y'all was right on my list. Right on my there list. There you go. There you go. Queen Amanada has been cooking, booking. Hooking and looking all at the same time. She mm-hmm. has been amazing. Yes, she has. I don't like, like and, she's been- and the, Oh no, all I was gonna say is just like like it's one thing when you have maybe a good match and then I right, so 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 match. No, she's had in the words of my man Seamus, banger after banger after banger after banger. 
come on, man. Like she's been, she is absolutely the breakout MVP of uh, of January. No question. Mm-hmm. She literally carries the like, even. You know, yes, they've been losses. You know, she carries the matches. She doesn't look like she's she's supposed to be there. She's supposed to be there. She shows out and shows why she's getting praise. Who the fuck she is and why she deserves nothing but praise and high glory moving forward. I I mean, the sky's the fucking limit for her, man. How are you cooking more than the TBS champion? Make it make sense. Because mm. the TBS champion should be the TBS champion. Mm. Come on. Come on. But now, nah, nah, like, like you said, like just her presentation alone, like when she just comes out to the ring, night as my man, as my man said uh on Saturday, Regal looking quite just. Stunning walking to the ring with a presence. Then she puts in that work when she gets in that ring. From like she was telling the story of work working the back on uh Thunder Rosa on Saturday. Yeah, she's so animated with like her expressions. Like, have you really believe in everything? Oh, and a student yeah, she's, of the game. Yeah, she's a gym. She's a gym. While keeping up with supremacy of black people. Oba Femi. We have not mm. talked about big Oba Femi on this podcast. We have not. We have not. Ooh. Nigga, you look 35. Ooh. I'm sorry. He does. <laughs> he does look 35. How that man looks he He's 22. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that man, that man re- you know how you know how like NBA players in the 70s yeah. like, they were 41, but mm-hmm. they were like 19. That's yeah. Oba That's, That's Oba Femi. No. Obi Femi he- looked like he got two kids in college right now, paying child support and can't yeah. kick and can't kick Newports. Nah, I can't. <laughs> I'm a, I, I am a proud Oma, uh, Obi feminist, so he Obi he's going feminist. to. The- whoa, 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 whoa! Let that let that sit. <laughs> let that that was good. That's that's that was good. Oba feminist. So let that sit for a second. Oh, Thank man. you. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. That's he's terrible. one of those, like, you want to know when, keep in mind, he's only had five televised matches on, on NXT, right? Mm-hmm. When he was on last week's show and they were giving him the, like, the, the chant, he handled it like a, a star, bro. Mm-hmm. He's been here before. No. You can, he just, his essence, his aura, the way he carries himself, he's been here before. There's, there, there's, there's nothing too big. For this man, um, like you said, like like the queen, this presence is 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 it's. I'm regal and I'm and I'm a stand out. I'm a stoop outside, but when I get in this fucking ring, I'm gonna fuck you up, and there's yeah. no question about it. What you why you made a mistake coming in here? Like, yeah, he's he's the real deal. Ooh. No, I know you. I'm sorry, I didn't cut you. I know you wanted to say. Who? Who? That, that's right. Ooh. That's right. <laughs> Um, continue on with the notes. AEW is revolution has taken shape. Um, I think they added Roddy and Orange Cassidy. Uh, looks like they're setting up Joe Swerve and Magnum TA. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what did you think of Mag- what did you think of Mag- Joe and- <laughs> Magnum HP? Magnum HP. You- yeah, Magnum <laughs> HP. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> what did you think of uh, Joe and Hook? What did you think of that match? Um, I was happy <laughs> that Hook got beat up for most of it. <laughs> Hook don't really do nothing for me. I'm happy. <laughs> how did you feel when Joe him? So let me ask you, Nolo, because I texted you about it. How did you feel when I texted you and told you he kicked out of the Muscle Buster at one? <laughs> Disgusted. That's how I, I said, wait, what? Hey. How did you feel when that's you saw it? it? Yo, that's <laughs> even worse. <laughs> 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 I wanted the match to end right then and there. I was like, yo, I need someone to beat this man down right now. You know what I hated about it though? Like 
usually in a match where like the person ends up the the loser ends up looking strong. I did not feel that with Hook at all. I like I had nothing, no. not even the muscle buster kicking out of one did anything for me to be like, yo, we need to see more Hook on TV. No, this guy's got the goods. No, this nigga sucks. This nigga is. It's hey. trash, man. I've what? never, I've, I've never, hey, I was, I tried to give my man's, uh, try to give him a chance. I don't see it, man. No, I don't see it, no. and that's okay. Hey, everybody, everybody can't be liked, and that's cool. But somebody like him, that hey. man got the second biggest oh, the, collision that we went to behind Dustin Rhodes, which is. Which is Why? still crazy. Like, don't get me wrong. I understand what Dustin did in the in, around the, those our parts. I just didn't know that like, it was that crazy. I was like, "Yo, this man is well respected in these parts." Yeah, that was when y'all was at in North, that, right? Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir. Look, he had that banger with Christian the other night too. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Dynamite. He did. He did. Great, way to, Dynamite. great way to open the show. Uh, Jeff Hardy looking like he's turning heel. How do we feel about it? Uh, he has a match with um, Swerve on Wednesday. Yep, yep. So I guess if they, so <laughs> I like what you said. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, no. Let me get. Let me get to what I was trying to say. Let me get to what okay. I was trying to say. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Try to. Man, try to derail me. <laughs> my apologies. My apologies. Oh, okay. I was all right. So, if they do like how you were talking, like you give him like a nice little faction, he can have his own like little flock of people, his own like his own little cult, if you will, and let Jeff cook. Oh, cool with that. Cool with that. Nigga, get. I Matt, just need to know. Get Matt. Get Matt Hardy. I need Matt out of here. I need Matt to go home and be a family man. He probably probably don't even have a key. Hey, it's all good. That's why they need to hit him like they did Matt Riddle. Delete. Delete. (laughs) Oh, not delete his his family. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Chaz, what do you think about Jeff Hardy? Are you interested in it? So I never um, got a chance to see him go heel. I know a lot of people talked about Damn. it. Uh, to, to, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I never got a chance to see days. it. Right. So, uh, you know, I'm interested. I never got to see that side. I, never, I don't even know what that looks like for real. So I'll be in, and, you know, this – I nothing about <clears throat> this current Jeff was really grabbing me. Um, I still – you know, I still think he can go in the ring slightly. Um, Obviously better than Matt, but – you know, I'm curious to see where this goes uh, with the heel. Is that really side. saying something? Seen. I'm sorry. No, it's not. Is that really saying something? No, it's not. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. It's not. So I, I am curious to see what it, what, how this angle goes because I've never seen it before. And the final quick roll up, uh, obviously TNA wrestling back in the fold. I don't know if y'all gentlemen saw an amazing match between Josh Alexander, and Will Osprey. You know their second yeah, match mm-hmm. is free on YouTube. But uh, obviously, the big news coming out of the tapings was Dolph Ziggler, Nick Nemeth, now in TNA. Good move, bad move. Do you care? What do you think? Eh. I mean, I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> You're not so you're not you're not interested in seeing uh Nick Nemeth and Booth. No, not really, but I'm gonna watch it. Damn, you hey, had a good match hey. with uh what's uh you had a good match with Trey Miguel the other day. Hey bro, I'm not saying it just doesn't move me. That's all. Okay. No disrespect. That's all. Like I'm not it's not like I'm out here hating on the shit. I just it just didn't move me. That's all. Ain't no ain't no big it's just, it's right. not. This is not this is not getting you to watch TNA live. I can't watch it live anyway. I ain't got the channel. That's fair. Chaz, <laughs> your thoughts? <laughs> God damn, dog. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm I'm laughing enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like 
I like it should have been me. It should have been me. Me. I like hey, the movie. Uh, I like. I watched. I've watched the um, playback. Um, I ain't watching live, but I definitely did watch the playback. Um, I always fuck the, with Dolph, Nick, whoever he wants to be. Curious to see how where this goes, where he takes it. So I liked it. Um, I think he's feuding with, if I'm not mistaken, Macklin. Jeff, what's his first name? Who? Donna who Perrazzo's Perrazzo? husband. I mean, wife. Don, Donna Perrazzo. Oh. Donna Perrazzo's husband. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. That motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. That's how I know. Macklin. That's how I know. <laughs> okay, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah that, that motherfucker. Yeah, that's what he's feuding with. <laughs> Macklin Perrazzo. Uh, Macklin Perrazzo. Both. And I'm pretty sure down the line that we're going to get him versus uh, Moof. So, yeah, I like it. How do you feel? Yeah, I'm going to say, oh, I guess that's the answer. How so do you feel like me? Uh, Does it move the needle for you, Mr. Scott? What, what kind of needle are we talking about? You know, I guess we need to lower the standard of needles. Maybe Man. like you know, hair and syringe needle? Does that... If if I happen to not have be doing anything and I just need right. something on in the background, I'll throw TNA on. You know what I mean? I'm like, like, I love TNA, but... Yeah. Well, all right. He, he's going to show the world. Mm. <laughs> yeah, he's stupid. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got it. Um, got but yeah, it. that's that, that's all I got, gentlemen. You know what I mean? No, though I know you gotta got a rendezvous up out of here. So you know we we got a we got a good timestamp right here. Good timestamp. But uh obviously oh, yeah, the world was on Sunday. You know what I mean? So on oh, the road to 153. Saturday. So, oh Saturday. Oh, oh boy, Saturday. I'm about to get hyped because I'm Not about to Sunday. say it's Saturday. Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, it's you've sad. already it's pledged. Sad, you've already yeah. You've already declared that you're not in the rumble. So yeah. Oh, where uh, you're not in the rumble? What happened? No. <laughs> he's choosing. He's choosing other activities. Over uh, hibachis and in in um, um yes. liquor. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah. hey, brother, I get it. Hey, hey, man. Yeah, yeah, no, yo, you're One, good. You're good. Yeah. Hey, bro. Hope I completely understand. Time. I hope you have a wonderful time. I will, I will continue this tradition of watching every Rumble that we have been a part of. So y'all yeah, watched every time. um since the pod started. Y'all watched since, since the, the inception of the podcast. We have we have watched every every Rumble together. That's yes, cool. we even used to try to record during pay per views, which was a terrible idea. Yes, <laughs> I think. I think one time we just like we stopped abruptly in the middle of a live stream. Yeah, we did. We did. It was like yeah, yeah. we did one that was like we recorded one that was like four hours once, and we were like, "This is stupid." Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's very fair. Yeah, yeah. a lot of it was unusable, so there was no point. Right, right, right. Respect, but nah. Oh, um, update just for people who may care. Um, Jamal Murray and uh. Nick, uh, Nikola Jokic got me the points and rebounds and assists that I needed. So I just need Cam Thomas to come through. Cam Thomas, man. That's all you we know what, need, we bro. Speaking of, because you've uh, pretty much said you don't want no black people winning in the Rumble, I hope that's what's <laughs> for you. You can we find me you. at Poetic Scotland. <laughs> on x and you can find me at scotland underscore underwood on twitter where we will be winning as black people Chess. hey that was unnecessary man we're on youtube man be professional oh, oh god be professional you can find me on x i got twitter something behind hands. <laughs> 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 you can find me on ig Chaz ob <laughs> Uh, you can find me Champ. at <laughs> You can find me at Relly of the Leaf on Twitter and Instagram. Uh follow the two pod pages at BGW Pod on Twitter and Instagram. Uh you can find D Mac Tardy at your bitch house. Um uh, 
and also at Twitter, Instagram, DMAC Tarney. Yes, yes. So when we tap back in for 153, we will have Royal Rumble, the winners, and we will just talk about other shit that's going on because, you know, it's busy time. So until then, we are out. Peace out. Peace out. To my, to my, to my world. World. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Woo. Damn,